The curve C has equation y equals x squared minus 8x plus 14. The point P has coordinates 6, 2 and lies on the curve C. Find the equation of the normal to C at P. So if I want to find the equation of a tangent or a normal, then I'm required to differentiate. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find dy by dx for this curve. So then I can calculate the gradient at the point. So differentiating x squared, I get 2x. Differentiating minus 8x, I get minus 8. Differentiating 14 comes out as a comes out as 0 because it's a constant. Then looking at my coordinates, which I want to find the gradient, x equals 6. So I get dy by dx is 2 lots of 6 minus 8, which gives me 12 minus 8, which gives me a gradient at the point of 4. Now actually, this is the gradient of the tangent. I want the gradient of the normal. And so I need to use the relationship that the gradient of the normal is equal to minus 1 over the gradient of the tangent, which then gives me a gradient for that normal as minus a quarter. Having got my gradient for my normal, I've got a point up here which is 6, 2, so I can use y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 in order to find the equation of my normal. So substituting my values in, I get y minus 2 is equal to minus a quarter times x minus 6. I don't want to deal with fractions for the time being, so I'm just going to multiply everything by 4, so I get 4y minus 8 is equal to, I'm going to do minus 1 times minus 6 gives me plus 6, minus 1 times x gives me 6 minus x. Finally, just tidy up and get a single constant, so I'm going to add 8 to both sides, so I get 4y equals 14 minus x. Okay, so that's part A. I'm going to leave the equation like that. I mean, you could if you want to divide by 4. It doesn't make much of a difference. It doesn't specify how you want it to be written. So I could write this as 14 minus x over 4. If we're solving simultaneous equations or something later on, this would probably be more useful though. Part B. The point Q lies on C such that the tangent to C at Q has equation y equals 2x plus C, where C is a constant. So I want to find the coordinates of q and the value of c. Now what this equation tells me, this bit here, the 2x tells me that the gradient of the tangent is 2. Therefore, the gradient of the curve is equal to 2. So I know the gradient of the curve is represented by the equation 2x minus 8. So actually, I can say that 2 is equal to 2x minus 8, and I can use this to find an x value. So if I add 8 to both sides of the equation, I get 2x equals 10. And if I divide by 2, I get x equals 5. And so now I have the x coordinate for q. I can find the y coordinate for q by substituting this into the curve, equation of the curve. So I get 5 squared minus 8 lots of 5 plus 14. And so at 25 plus 14 is 39, minus 40, we get that the y value is minus 1. And so my q coordinate is 5 minus 1. The last part of this question, I didn't want to just find the coordinates of q, I want to find the value of c. So I'm just actually going to substitute the x and y value into that equation. I'm not going to use y equals mx plus v simply because I've already got it written in this form here. So I'm going to have 5 is equal to 2. Lots, oh, it's not 5, sorry, let's make this clear. It's y, so it should be minus 1 is equal to 2 lots of 5 plus c. So I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. So I get c equals minus 11. And so your equation of the tangent is y equals 2x minus 11. Okay, well let's have a look and see how the marks are awarded in this question. First of all, we get a method mark if we attempt to differentiate. You then get another method mark if you've attempted to substitute 6 into a gradient. And then finally we get an answer mark 
if you get the correct gradient only of grade 4. Next, if you use the relationship between a normal and a tangent to establish or try to establish a gradient for the normal, you get a method mark. And then if we get the equation of the, of the tangent, then we get an answer mark. Part B, if you put your gradient dy by dx and sort of an equation equal to 2, we get a method mark. If you find the x-coordinate is 5, you get an answer mark. If you get a y-coordinate is minus 1, you get an answer mark. And if you find that the c-value is minus 11, you get an answer mark. Okay, I hope my explanations made sense and you understood how to mark that.